my guardian angels, this is your leader Chaos Angel with episode 2 of Let's Play Spyro the Two Ripto's Rage. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that. That's where we left off. Is Summer Forest. Now, I'm going to be quiet for a while because this music in the home world is absolutely gorgeous. Just listen to it. gorgeous. Now, before I get into anything else, let's talk to Alora. Spyro, this is the homeworld called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you go to. Okay, seems easy enough. Now, as we're going around here, I want to give a special shout out to one of my, to one of my fans. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to show that off. Um, his name, uh, the name of, the name of the person I want to give a shout out to is Spyro15. Yeah. He's been giving, he's been leaving a lot of comments on my older videos, especially from my Let's Cheat Spyro the Dragon series. And look who's here. Yeah, he just, he, he wasn't there before. I'm sure you all know that. So, let's talk to him. Hiya, Spyro. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press X to jump, then press X again while you're still in the air to glide. Yeah. <clears throat> That's basically the beginner thing to do. I've actually... I've actually... If you, if you know how to do the double jump, you, you, you can just use that. You don't have to glide. But you don't have to use the double jump either. You can, well, I'll show it off later in this video, so there's no need to worry about that. Oh, and here's Zoe. Bart, the dragonfly following you around is your health indicator, Spyro. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. Mm. Make sure you talk to her if you want to complete this 100%, you know, without, you know, without having to learn to climb. Why don't y'all get to that when we get to it? Sorry, I ran out of stuff to talk about. Oh, um, let's do this little challenge for Hunter over here. And then we'll learn how to swim. Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press X and hold it down to get more hang time. Yeah, this is just a tutorial on how to jump. Not like we've jumped millions of times while we were in Glimmer. Okay, not bad. Now, to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press X to jump, then press X again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. Okay, and just for the sake of showing it, showing it off. Are you serious? I mean, I did it at the very top. Really? Remember, press X to jump, then press X again at the top of your jump to get the longest glide. Yeah, I did that. Which is why it's better to do it like this. Nice job. Now try to do a hover. Press X to jump, then press X again to glide. Then when you reach the end of your glide, press triangle to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at least you all got your fill for this episode. <laughs> Hope you're happy. <laughs> Very good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover. 
just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the D-pad or analog stick when you hover. Mm-hmm. This one's easy. Wow, you're a pretty good athlete. If I hadn't lost my running shoes, I'd take you on for real. For now, here's an orb for your collection. And we have orb number four. Let's talk to him again. I'm just taking a break right now. I've got to rest for the next big race in Ocean Speedway. Yeah, good luck with that when I'm not here. <laughs> well, not there. Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for a, a small fee. Now, this is why I completed Glimmer all 100%, because we wouldn't have this many gems right now. But we do, so yes, please. Great. Okay. When you jump in the water, you can use the D-pad to move around the surface. Use square to dive underwater. When you are underwater, use X to paddle and square to charge. Yeah, pretty easy. Pretty standard stuff. Now, he just tells you what to do again, so I'm not going to bother talking to him. So here we press square to go underwater. And paddling, hold down X and hold down square, like he said, to charge. It's more fun to do that. <laughs> now, there's one thing they did change in number three. Instead of looking like this underwater, it just looks like a normal fireball underwater, which doesn't make sense. But when underwater in this game, it looks really cool. And whoop! We're gonna go back, a little, a little uh, pond you saw way over here. It's a place you can go underwater, so let's dive. There's a little tunnel that leads somewhere. Let's see where it leads. And I freaking missed. Okay, um, second fail of the episode. <laughs> what a way to start this off. Well, not really start. We're only like eight minutes in. Oh, jeez. It's been a while since I played this game anyway. I was gonna charge right into the orb and then dive. <laughs> Wanted to make it look cool and I couldn't do it. Okay, let's line myself up. There we go. Let's continue on. Now this is gonna be another long episode because I'm gonna be using the swim and air glitch in this episode. And when it comes to this one, it doesn't work so well. But, I know I can do it. I know all my guardian angels have faith in me. I'll talk to Zoe again. You're well on your way, Spyro. Keep collecting talismans to help us defeat Reptile before he can take over Avalar. Oh, and keep collecting those orbs, too. The professor thinks they will help you get back to the dragon world. That's good enough. You need to just hit this to close the door. And I handle and run the wall again. Sorry! I honestly didn't mean to do that. Now, Hunter over there, he just changes your camera. So, I'll do this. And we can see. Your game camera is currently in passive mode. This mode requires you to control the camera yourself, and moves more slowly. If you like, I can change the game camera to use active mode. In active mode, the camera moves 
much faster. Okay. Okay, all done. The camera will move faster now. If you don't like it this way, come back and see me. Or change it yourself by using the options menu. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> that was just a little demonstration. And here's Alora. I saw something shiny at the top of this wall. You could probably get it, but you'll have to learn how to climb first. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah. If you're if you know how to do these glitches, yeah, you can tell she is lying. And here she is again. She magically teleports. Nice work, Spyro. The orbs you're carrying have activated this special portal. You won't find a talisman in the ocean speedway, but if you're fast, you'll get lots of treasure. Have fun. Yeah, apparently yeah, I realized in these later games, everyone magically teleports. Oh, right. Um, do that. Yeah, if you open the door, that'll open, but a door right here <clears throat> will close. See? Anyway, <clears throat> another orb. Orb number six. And sorry about constantly clearing my throat as I said in my last episode. Still a tiny bit sick. So, yeah, some of it got left behind. I'm just really gathering gems here. <clears throat> and here's money bags. Well, well, good to see you, Spyro. I used to remember how to lower this wall behind me, but I seem to have temporarily forgotten. If you had more money, it might jog my memory. <laughs> Temporarily forgotten. That is so freaking ridiculous, I swear. Anyway, here's Alora once again. Hi, Spyro. This talisman door will only open if you have all six summer forest talismans. Once the door is open, Risto and Crush will be waiting in the dungeon. Okay. <clears throat> But anyway, there are still some gems left. So, what I'm going to do is the swim and air glitch. Now, keep in mind, this is pretty tough. Like, I wasn't supposed to do that. You need to find a way to get her to zap you while underwater. As you can see, it's pretty hard to do. Yeah, I guess I recently remembered a video of, I think that's how to actually do it. Um, okay, I usually have a hard time with that, but, uh, I guess not anymore. <laughs> I always, I thought it was gonna take me, like, five minutes to do. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, Zoe has zapped us while we were underwater, so you're probably, one, probably wondering what I'm gonna do now. Well, for those of you who know this glitch, you already know, but for those who don't, I I need to lose a life. Basically kill myself. You're probably wondering, how? You can't die here. Well, you can. The soft spot right there. And there I go. And ta-da! And yeah, some graphical stuff happens. Okay. There that is. Get the gems up here too. Yeah, I thought this episode was gonna be long, but I guess not. And yep, we can go right over this wall. Now be absolutely careful. If you go into that portal, you will not be able to come out. Well, when you come back out, this wall will still be here and you won't be able to get out. Hmm. I have a Spyro 3 save game, so I can use the search thing thing for sparks to point to point to treasure. Um let's open that up. Did I miss one up here? Oh, 
No, I missed that right there. There you go. That ends the glitch. And Summer Forest, 100% complete. Yeah. I should end off. I guess I should just end back at the beginning like I usually do. Well, <clears throat> it's in the first in the first let's in the last glitch I did, I just found a nice high spot <laughs> since I had that flying cheat on. Anyway, I guess we'll just end it right here back at the beginning. Well, this is fun. Very productive second episode, I must say. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me. One more, and uh, I'd like to give Spyro15 a shout out one more time just to let him know that he is a really good fan. to be leaving me a lot of comments. And, uh, yeah, um, that's pretty much all I have for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed this. Please comment, like, subscribe. Subscribe to become a guardian angel today. Hi, Sparks. <laughs> and I will see you all in the next episode. This is Chaos Angel, signing out.